And now we have the hot water and the instructions is add hot or warm soft water. This is our soft water that we already heated on the microwave and we are gonna use 10 and below. Uh -huh. We're gonna put one scoop inside our wall. And we are gonna mix the powder. We have to start doing that little bathroom because the owner wants, uh, she is in the wheelchair and she needs access to that bathroom. So our first thing that we're gonna do is, bring, 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 bring. Um, we are gonna do the whole procedure for that bathroom. We already vacuum, we're gonna pre-treat and then a scrub, rinse, and because it's a small area, and then dry and seal. Uh -huh. Juan Carlos, ten cuidado. Juan Carlos has a big head and he already broke a lamp for another person. So he told me we have to raise the lamp so he will have more space. Yes. Fantastic. Gracias. Okay, señora. And this is the flap map that has an injection here. You press and the product is gonna go out. This is the procedure that we are gonna do. Uh, people just spray with a, a sprayer, but we like this this way. Anda sacándome las mangas, la de disolución, la azulita. La azul finita. Ajá. Hasta la puerta y la gruesa. Hasta la puerta. In the meantime, Juan Carlos is gonna take down the dissolution hose and the vacuum hose with the attachment just in front of the door. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Okay, señora Hilda, todo suyo. En el baño empezó. Trata de no mojar mucho el acostado de los gabinetes y de los baseboards. Because this is a small area, we are gonna scrub with our vapor steamer. This is our way to do. Maybe it will be more complicated, I don't know, but this is the way we, we usually do. Um, you just need to spray with a with a sprayer and use the brush to scrub the ground lines. You don't have to use a vapor steamer, but as I said, we are used to clean houses for a living, housekeeping, maid service, and we are used to mop and use the vapor steamer and vacuum. So it's a different perspective. You have to saturate. Echale bastante producto. You have to saturate all the lines, especially all the lines, all the grout. That's what I'm doing. Okay, good. And the tile is perfect because let me try to do a zoom. I love this system. Mm -hmm. I love this work. It's fine. <laughs> love it. Yeah, she likes to do talent grout. It's much better for us than <laughs> being on our knees and clean the, the oven. So this job pays a little bit more and it's faster and we like the, the difference. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I love it. I really love it. Me too. 
The cabinet had a sealer, so this house has a good sealer. But even though that, we like to make our precautions. Mm -hmm. Sigue, sigue todo. In, in, todo esto, ya. Yeah? Hasta acá, por lo menos. Sí, sí. Yeah. Sometimes we use the steamer, sometimes we use a magic eraser, and this product is a safe product. Uh, this is not an acid, okay? This is an alkaline below 10, 9.5 pH, safe for carpets and safe for tile and grout. Using an acid, of course, it's gonna come really white. But the problem with the acid is that acid doesn't clean. What they do is remove the fine layer that is inside the grout. This is the reason why you put that after seeing your grout really white, you will see a little holes and it will make it more porous. Okay, stay tuned. Bye.